Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris for Chris Flores Media. Today, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do we need eye and face tracking on our cameras, all right? Let's talk about it. So, I've got the Sony a7C right here. I'm using my Sony a7 III to record, and uh, I believe that the a7 III is one of the best cameras. When it came out, it was like game-changing, whatever, you know the spiel. Uh, even today, I still love the autofocus and we're almost in September or maybe it is September by the time you're watching this, 2021. And I still think the autofocus is absolutely killer. And not to mention this guy on the A7C, it's like, it cannot like not track you, right? The autofocus is amazing, all right? So I've been wanting uh, uh, to use a monitor uh, for various reasons. I've been wanting a monitor so that's a little bit easier to to record easier for me to see when I'm out in the field trying to record things and uh, I wanted a monitor that has LUT capability so that I can see what my footage is gonna look like and I could expose even easier right call it a cheat sheet but hey it works when you're running and gunning out in the field it's a lot easier to just have a monitor you can see your colors you can see the exposure and that way when you get to the edit like you're not surprised it looked good on the screen why does it look horrible on the computer right like you're good to go right but my one thing especially with the a7 III and why i'm building a, a camera rig around the a7 III is because i like it's a bigger camera it's a heavier it's gonna be easier to stabilize and the the ibis inside the a7 III is better than this guy. So this is gonna be like a more compact gimbal camera, monopod camera, tripod camera, YouTube camera, amazing YouTube camera. Uh, it's amazing for that. But for me, for handheld stuff, I'm gonna try to build a rig around the a7 III. But the problem is that when you try to put a monitor on the a7 III and you're recording 4K, you lose face tracking and like, I was really scared of that because like I've come to love and use and trust face tracking for everything right and even on this camera it's even better because like if you if like I film weddings so it's like if you're if you got the bride coming you could click on her face you could click on, on on her and like the camera's gonna track her right and the cool thing about this camera is that when you use a monitor you don't lose that capability but again like I said, I'm trying to build my rig around the a7 III. You do lose it when you're recording in a 4K, right? But I've come to trust and I've come to understand that you don't really need face tracking, right? It's cool to have, it's great to have, but the autofocus on the a7 III is still amazing, right? Even without face and eye autofocus, like it's still amazing. Right now, I have it on the zone and I have the zone kind of like you know what I'm talking about, it's not in the center. I've got it one click up, so it's kind of focusing on this part of the screen. And like, I don't think I've gone out of focus, right? I mean, I'll check back in the video and I'll put a little note like, yeah, I got out of focus. But so far from what I can see on the monitor, I have not gone out of focus. And like, I could put things up to the camera. It'll focus on that. There we go. I got the transition a little bit slower because I like it to look a little bit more cinematic. Shameless plug word. But I could put things to the camera and like it'll go from the item to my face, right? And like, as far as I could tell, I don't see any hunting. I'm recording this with the 24 to 70 Sigma uh, lens 2.8 and I'm recording at 24 at 2.8. And this, this little studio space, my office space isn't like the best lit place right now. And like, I don't think it's going out of focus, right? And I could even put like little random things and the camera will focus, right? Cause it's looking for the closest thing to the lens. So it'll focus on that and it'll transition right back to my face and I'm in focus, right? How would I use this on the field? I would probably not use zone. I probably would use like either flexible spot or even maybe center, but sometimes that's kind of like, it doesn't, really work that well i would probably just stick to maybe medium flexible spot and you got the joystick and you can move it real quick or in case you forgot or you didn't know on the a7 III you could touch to focus so like if i got a bride coming down the aisle i could touch on her and just make sure that i'm staying in that same position and like it's going to record and stay focused on her face it's not going to catch somebody else's face so what is all this 
I want you to know that you don't need to go get a more expensive camera. You don't need to go get like an, a really expensive monitor. Like you can trust that the Sony autofocus is going to be just as good and you could get a more budget friendly monitor if all you really want to do is just maybe use LUTs but the more the like the more important thing is just being able to see better right like I could barely see and like the monitor on the back of the camera is like kind of hard to see but now with the monitor I'm like it's more confident you got a whole bunch of features on there right if you want to know which monitor this budget monitor I'm using stay tuned for a future video where I'm going to show you guys my budget uh filmmaking camera rig around the a7 III but I just want to tell you you don't need to rely on face and eye autofocus you don't need to go drop more money on a newer camera on a more expensive camera like if you can get an a7 III if you have an a7 III if you have an a6400 like it has amazing autofocus trust it all right Again, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, if you found some value in this video, or if I kind of confirmed something for you, cause like I was looking forever in a day for a video with someone telling me like, hey, you don't need to use eye autofocus with an external monitor, or if you lose it, like you don't need to freak out, or this is how you can get around it. Like I couldn't find a video like that. So I'm making that video in case somebody ever needs to know that, all right? Again, use flexible spot use the joystick touch and like you'll be just fine using just the autofocus in the camera all right please like this video please subscribe watch another video i'll catch you in the next one all right peace